Wait, are we... Are we upgrading the dog? What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design MPM6 Upgrade Kit. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Mojo. Oh, we have Mojo. Look at him. DK12 MPM6 Upgrade Kits. Why do they always have the S there? It's not, it's just kits. It's not plural, it's kits. That's all, just get get the S out. Get the S out. Just hunker down, push, and get the S out. That's all they have to do anyway. On top, DK12, MPM6 upgrade kits. On the bottom, words, things, and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Things are in the box, things, stuff, stuff, and things, things, and stuff, stuff, whatever, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the upgrade kits for Masterpiece Movie Ironhide. And this kit was made to fix some nagging problems on the figure itself, as well as give him some extra weapons, some extra accoutrement. So let's just run through what comes in the box. First, we have this new back piece here, and this is going to lock his shoulders in place. And I love this piece. You can see it done in black with some bits of silver in there. They even have a little molded spot there. So if you want to put an Autobot symbol sticker there, you can if you want to. And this piece is very solid. This is made of some nice, hefty, chunky plastic here. Very, very solid, very sturdy. So I do like that. We also do get some guns. Look at all those guns. And here's the one. You can see some nice detail going on. Some bits of silver as well. And you also have these knives here, which you can remove. They just tab in with a blade. Done in silver. You also have these bits here that you can remove. And we'll show off what these are for in a little bit, but these do store right here in the gun itself. And you can just slide the knife back on as a bayonet. And you got that one gun. And here you have the other gun. Again, very nicely detailed with some bits picked out in that nice silver. Again, you have the Removable knife, all that good stuff, and again, these extra pieces here, I just store right there in the gun. And there you go. You get one more piece, we'll get into that in a little bit. But first, let's bring in the hide of iron and show off what this upgrade kit does. Now, the first issue with this figure was the shoulders, that the shoulders did not actually lock anywhere, and this could just flop around on you, and that's kind of annoying and just didn't really work well. Now, when I initially reviewed this figure after I posted my review, I pretty much everybody sent me the same two videos of the guys going, look, the wheel thoops, look, if you just push the wheel and it thoops and it keeps the shoulders in place. Number one, a thoop isn't a lock. I wanted a lock. That's what I wanted on this figure was a locking point, not a thoop. You know, even with the thoop, it still could be undone pretty easily. And I never found the thoop. I never found the thoop. I held this shoulder in every position there was to hold it in and push the wheel in and it never thooped. I never got the thoop. And for some reason, the guys who made those videos, for some reason didn't think, hey, if I just turn the figure around, look, there's a wide open space right here. I can actually show what's thooping where. Seems like common sense to me, but apparently not to them, you know, but I don't know. Maybe since then, somebody has made a video that was actually helpful. Those videos, I'm sorry, were not helpful to me because I still didn't know exactly what was happening and where it was happening with the look at just thoops. I don't know. I never got the thoop. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. That doesn't matter anymore because now we have an actual lock and this is what will lock the shoulders in place and make what I want to happen, happen. So how this works is we need to uh, move this stuff out of the way here. Move these panels out of the way. Move these panels out of the way as best you can. Probably bring these down, that'll help. And you want to bring this back piece down as well. And what's going to happen here is you have these sections are going to slide over these bits right here. Let me raise up just a smidge here. Yeah. There we go. What's going to happen is this is going to slide right over the section like so. Just give it a good push until that sits flush right there. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just get that slide that down like so as far as the wheels go 
you just shift them. Oops. You want to shift them in, but you don't want them to uh, push this out of place. Put that over. So you just want to take the wheel and just slide it in. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but just slide that in. And it'll just sit right up in that area right in there. So the wheel is still angled in as it should be. And you do the same thing on the other side here. You just shift that wheel in and that will just, whoops, move over. And slide that back down, whoops. One thing is that it's a little, that's a little bit of an instance of you having to push things past things, which I'm not a fan of, but it's okay. You can see where everything sits right there how that just wheel you just want that wheel just sitting right in that area right there like so and once you've done that you can see there is a big tab that will go right there in the center of his back and you just push all that in like so and then you can just bring this section back up that will just sit right under there like that and there you go then you just kind of Drain things out up front here, get things situated, get his feet back into orientation here, and there you go. Now, the shoulders are locked, and they are locked solid, and now you can move his arms around, move them around. There's still a little bit of wobble here, but it's not going to just start flopping around on you. That's just going to stay put no matter what you do now, and that's makes me very, very happy. So that is how that piece works. And you can see it integrates pretty well. It would have been nice if they used more of a glossy black instead of this matte black because it would have kind of matched things a little bit better. But all in all though, it does the job it intends to do and it does it quite well in my opinion. So that is how that works. Now the next issue that this figure had was down here with these panels not wanting to tab in. You see the little tab's supposed to go in here and hold that in place. And that for me never worked. And again, the videos everybody kept sending me were just like, hey, look, there's a sweet spot. And for me, it, it never worked. I never got, as much as I tried to manipulate these panels and the tab, I just never got this to stay in. That just, it, it never worked for me anyway. That's all I can say. You know, could just be a case of your mileage may vary, but for me personally, it never worked no matter what I did. I could not find that magical sweet spot, so I don't know. But there is a fix for that now. We now have a dead solid lock, and that's where these pieces come in. That's storing to the guns. We just slide these out and slide these out. And what you're going to do here is these are just going to go over these tabs right here. You want it oriented like this, and this will just slide over this section here like that. And then you can tab the wrist into it like so. And there you have now a dead solid lock. And I can, I can manipulate his elbow by this panel now, and that doesn't come undone. That's a beautiful thing. That's a lock, and that makes me happy. And we can do the same thing on the other side here. We can just tab that on, and then, oops, sorry, bumped the camera there. And then just tab that in, boom, like so. There you go, and again, you now have a dead solid lock. You can now move the elbow around by that panel, and it doesn't come undone now. So now we have actual locking points for things, and that makes me very, very happy now. And the added bonus, of course, is that we get these uh, extra nice guns here for him. Again, if you want, you can take these knives out. He can hold those in his hands, or you can have him wielding these new weapons. And you can just plug these right into his hands, like so. And he does hold them nice and securely. And they just plug right in, like so. And he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. He can have all the Mexican standoffs, and that looks pretty cool. And if you want, you can also store the weapons. Let's pull these out of his hands. And we come back here 
to the new back piece, if we move these panels out of the way here, you can see we have two ports right here, and we have pegs on either gun, and you can take these, you have to kind of move things out of the way here, and these will just plug in like so, just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Like that, and they plug in nice and snug-like. There you go, you can have those stored on his back, if you wish, and that looks pretty cool too. So hey, you have options, there's always options, are good. And there is one more accessory that you get with this kit, and here it is, it's the real star of the movie, Mojo! Mojo the Chihuahua, I Chihuahua! There is little Mojo, his blue collar, his cast, and yes, he does have a leg up, and he is peeing. And that is one heck of a stream right there. That's just obscene. That's just, that just looks like his whole stomach exploded there. But hey, it is what it is. But if you want, we can have Mojo down here. And we'll zoom in. And you can have Mojo lubricating Ironhide's foot. And this alone makes the kit totally worth it. Oh, look at him. So now let's show off the vehicle mode storage because all this stuff can store on the alt mode. Now for the back piece here, you can take these side sections and bring them up. You see, I just clip in here at either side. So we just bring these sections up and this is going to store underneath. Let me raise up a little bit, yeah. So what's going to happen here is this section right here is going to go over this hinge right here and these two tabs are going to go into these two slots right here theoretically um this is the one part of this kit that doesn't work super well um the best way that i found to get this to work is just kind of drop the the front section in uh first just get that over that hinge where it's supposed to go and you'll feel that friction there and then you just kind of basically just kind of squeeze from all sides from the top from the sides and then just kind of push this down and it should keep the wheels from popping off of their tabs and if you have it all right which i think it is if you get it all nice and squoze in there just squeeze it all at once that should stay just fine and there you go and it doesn't hinder the rolling in any way he still rolls as rolling things should, hooray for rolling. Although, I think on this side it's still kind of untapped that wheel a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's all good. It's all good. It takes a little bit of doing, but it does store under there pretty nicely. And as far as the guns go, um, again, you do want to take these wrist pieces off because you can't transform him with these on. So these just store right back into the guns themselves and these are going to store back here and you can see back here you have a tab and a slot and on the guns you have a tab and a slot so all you're going to do is just tab that in tab that in give it a little wiggle so everything stays on there nice and secure like now you do the same thing on the other side just tab it in your end give that a little wiggle 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 and there you have the guns stored back there. And, of course, we can bring in his other weapons. We can just have everything stored. All of his weapons, all of his accoutrement. And just have that stored on the alt mode. Like so. And there you go. There he is with all of his weapons. And the entire upgrade kit stored. And you can still have Mojo peeing on him. So... There you go. So there you have the upgrade for Masterpiece Movie Ironhide. And um, I really like this kit. It does exactly what it sets out to do. And it does it well, in my opinion. It takes aspects of the toy that were not solid and kind of annoying and makes them solid and not annoying. So for me, it's a win-win. There's no thoops, there's no sweet spots, just solid locking points now. And that makes me very, very happy and makes this figure so much better now. And you get little Mojo. Oh, Mojo.
So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of DNA Design's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the DNA Designed MPM6 Upgrade Kit, and this is m -Games saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pull me in your face.